Hello. This is Malcolm Rose. We've got a Gargoyle Artificer here. I am intending to do Lord of Darkness 3 with this guy. That is winning without visiting Lair, Orc, or the Vaults. And Avarice 3 as well. Where we get the Iron Rune first. And enter nowhere uh, that has a rune. Before going into... Uh, Dis and picking up the iron rune. So it's a fairly challenging thing to do, but I think we can make it work. Let's just train fighting and dodging for the time being. And armor, I guess. And we'll see if we find a good weapon. Gargoyle lets me have some pretty good AC. Alright, I need to need to fix my RC real quick. That's set for troll style chunk pickups. Okay. I chose an artificer because I haven't won any yet, and um, having these wands will make my early game a lot easier. I think the gargoyles are secretly not very good in the early game because of their low hit points. Primarily going to be a melee guy. We're going to go for some super overpowered god, probably Rue, because then you can just apocalypse your way through depths if need be. The goal, the goal, <clears throat> the goal, of course, is to get to the abyss because it's not against the rules to go farm that up, right? Ooh. Yeah, green, green orc priest. That's the kind of thing you don't want to see on an early gargoyle because your AC doesn't really help with that smite. And your uh, hit points are low, right? So, not so good. on this amulet. It's an accuracy, not so good. Identify. Remove curse, okay, cool. Pull this guy up. Oh, confused. Trying to melee him down, but doesn't seem to want to go. Um, I could use a wand on him. Why don't we use a wand on him? Ah. Wow. This perma confuse is really something. Spam and confuse on me. Yeah, I should have used wands on him immediately. Got him. We are resistant to mutation. That's a Nice little find. Um, we can fight this guy, we're immune to poison. Alright, we got Fedhas and Kiku. Um, I guess Fedhas is kind of an option. We could make a, an Aklob farm on Depths, uh, depths 1. But you know, I actually doubt that I'll have enough piety to do that by the time I hit depths, because Fed Haas is really, um, yeah, really annoying about piety gain. Oh, 
Man. Should have just walked away from him. Charm him. Tell him to run away and go down. We'll come back for him here in a minute. There's no good weapons yet. Obviously this is a little bit RNG dependent since I need to find a decent weapon in dungeon. On the other hand, we can make it work just with Apocalypse. Of course there's no guaranteeing we'll get Apocalypse either. And I, I may not even go for Rue. Get really crazy and go Che. I mean that's not the that's not the optimal way of doing this. Uh, okay, there we go. Pumping strength. Ooh. Well, this is no joke. Whoa, I died. Okay, that's fine. Wand of Flame didn't really want to work for me there. Fighting and dodging again. Dagger of Holy Wrath to start with. That's, that's okay, it should be enchanted. Better than a plus zero short sword, anyway. If I was playing optimally, I would have um, pulled that iguana back to a staircase and uh, spammed wands on him from the start, probably. Maybe random effects from the staircase. But I'm just kind of machine gunning out runs here. Chainmail. If I was if I was actually trying to play optimally, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't do things like pick up random amulets and wear them, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, amulet of rage. Amulet of rage. That's that's a good one. Amulet of Rage actually will let me do... That will let me do... Depths a lot easier. Since you can kill things with Berserk that you otherwise shouldn't be able to kill, really. a sewer. That's a really good find. Extra experience. Okay. 
I got segment here. Oh. Okay, so I was hoping to get a bolt. There we go. Cool. Wear this helmet. Get the stagger of venom. It's really good. And um, I'll pick up Holy Wrath as well, I guess, in case I really need to kill some undead with a dagger. <laughs> okay, distant drain. Well, no magic mapping. Gonna have to find this thing the old fashioned way. You hear a zap, you hear a grinding noise. Somebody's got digging and they are wasting all the charges. I'm resting up a distant drain, still distant this way. Usk, huh? Could I make Usk work? Hmm. Maybe. Not if I don't find faith. Okay, that's a good that's a good one. There's a great mace here. We could, we could go that direction. Anyway, it was distant here, and it's very distant here, so it's, it's got to be further to the south. Right? Yeah. Once I'm able to find it. We're very well equipped to deal with just about any sewer. Nice. Well, that was that was quick. We're not gonna take Eli. Although we could have taken Eli to build up Piety for TSO. Nice, we have digging. So this great mace is unbranded, but, um, well, with Amulet of Rage, we can... We can make it work. I think we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're not gonna go Oka. As good as Oka is. Well, that would be a way of... That, that would be a way of, um... Killing things I shouldn't be able to kill yet, and also getting gear. Yeah, Oka might work. No, we have we have rage from berserk, so that that has too much overlap with finesse. When I can berserk anytime I want to and get that same haste effect. Mm. 
Nice. I can use this. I can use this Mace of Venom until I have closer to Mendeley. I really should have gone, really should have gone Eli. Basically, if I make it to Abyss, I win. Um, and TSO would help me survive an Abyss a little bit better. Not guaranteed to have an entrance to the Abyss, though on uh, depths one. We may have to survive more than one floor of depths. Oh, three enchant armors. Oh, we don't need to use that just yet. Gozag. Um, that's pretty good. Um, oh, we got a few gods to choose. Ashenzari would let me scry and uh, therefore be able to avoid certain things in depths. With Gozag, we could bribe the depths if we get 3,000 gold by then, which is not super likely, I guess. Hmm. Rage would be kind of annoying with Gozag, but his abilities are just so good. We're going with Gozag. This will let me bribe Dis as well after after farming up this for so long. Let's just hope we find a good number of rations. interesting. None of this stuff is going to be very useful to me, f useful to me for uh, quite a while. But maybe here in a bit. Now this stuff, on the other hand, lightning rod. That, that will be very handy. Um, I'll just put this stuff on the list. I feel it floats as well. I mean, it looks nice. I may save my gold and not get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Run away. He's berserk, so he's charmed. Um... That's not good. It 
43% chance of paralysis. Okay. He's not berserked anymore. Or I should say she, I guess. This invisible, um, well, unseen horror. It's really annoying. I have no way of knowing if I'm poisoning it or not. There we go. Figured he would die eventually. Nice, we got some rations here. Finding ration vaults is very nice for trying to do this. We may, we may yet have enough gold for a bribe. Depths one. I have a suspicion that Gozag is just the best, the best god to be doing this kind of thing with. Just because bribe is so incredible. Still using chainmail, no play yet. We have all these enchant armors, but I don't really want to use them if I can avoid it. I'm gonna go up. This guy could one-shot me very easily. However, we get him with the paralyze. this stuff over here on account of the priest. I make a kill hole. Now unfortunately didn't quite work. Trying to take out these kobolds before we clear out the orc so that the priest wasn't zapping me, you know, at the same time that the kobolds were attacking. We get a reward, which is plate armor. I may enchant up this basic plate armor, we'll see. I'm trying to finish dungeon before I use those enchant armor scrolls. Now we're gonna get 100 points, tournament points, for getting these two conducts done. 50 points each. The uh, Worshipping Gozag lets me bypass um, bypass the fact that I'm missing all the big loot piles. You know, we're not doing Elf, we're not doing any of the lair branch endings or slime or anything. Uh, we're not doing vaults. So we're missing out on uh, we're missing out on a lot of loot, but if I'm just running through the abyss, you know, 
I'm getting tons of gold, or I should be. Oh nice, we got pass wall. That I might I might bother memorizing. Ring meal of cold resistance. That that could be worth enchanting up. We'll see. I want something with a brand on it. RC plus isn't the best thing I could have asked for, but it's you know it's not nothing. Hopefully, we will find plate. with, um, I don't know, RF plus on it or something, but that generally only spawns in a volcano. Hey, plus five amulet of reflection. Um, yeah, we, we could buy that. We could buy that. I don't think so, though. We're relying on regen, and, um... I mean, regen's not doing much for us, but... The rage is what we're going to be swapping to anyway, so... Well, we're going to finally break out this thing. Looks like it does a pretty good job. We're just about at Mendeley on this Mesa Venom, which pretty much means I, I should be swapping. Nice dexterity. We can we can use this thing now. Erolcha Enslave. Enslave again. Got a crystal spear here. What? Oh, she's got a wand of enslavement. Teleport. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Um, wow. Wow. You see that? Charming the uh, the guy was a mistake because yeah, no, I thought I was probably okay. Uh, assuming she didn't cold bolt me for full damage or close to full damage. But instead she just crystal speared and it missed the ice beast and hit me. That's kind of funny. Alright, that's that's cool. Um, that's cool. We'll just restart. That can happen. That's a shame. That was a fairly promising run. Yeah, we'll do Gozak again. A little annoying because we did find uh, we did find a top tier weapon. Should have been paying more attention. That's on me. Uh, let's grab the sax. Since I'm tabbing a lot. Okay. Adder didn't want to die there.
But yeah, just because you have somebody between you and um, somebody who can cast Iron Shot or Crystal Spear or whatever, don't assume that means that you can't die. Even large rocks can miss. I mean, if this was a street game, you would see me doing things like, you know, as soon as I see a roll child, I would stop and think about it, like, oh, what do I want to do, what's the, what's the optimal play here, you know, but I'm just kind of rapid firing these runs out, you know. Okay, we have a plus four quarter staff of chaos. Um... Do I want to go staves? <laughs> There's, it's a brand. I'll say that much. It's not a good brand, but it's a brand. It will get me killed, for sure, if I use it long enough. bro. shield. Potentially useful if I don't end up using the staff. We we may be saddled with the staff though. I mean quarter staffs are really really nice. It's just the chaos is going to end up berserking like a, an ugly thing or something in depths. I would go uh, Uretum Mule, except for the fact that I'm planning on farming Abyss. So, um, well, his minions don't really follow you in there. some viz to go away. There we go. Got a helmet. See if this war axe is any good. Cursed plus zero. Well, we're gonna identify. That, that settles it. We're going staves. We'll just roll the dice on this chaos.
And hopefully we don't get screwed by a Rolcha this time. And on the plus side, if anything does get berserked, I can probably charm it. Oh, there's a battle axe. Surprisingly, the staff is working out just fine so far. Oh, 11 headed Hydra with an Octopod Ghost. No need to fight all that yet. There's no loot in there that's particularly worth getting, so. We will, uh, we will bypass, we'll bypass all that for now. Gold hand axe. I don't think I really care what that is. We're already invested into staves pretty hard. Okay. Okay. Yes, we're not casting spells, at least for the time being. We get plus seven chain armor. That's very good, actually. That's a piece of the puzzle. Getting some MR plus is nice. I guess I should probably, I should probably identify this. Um, okay. I wanted to see if it had any resistances that I might want. Should not have hatched. Why did I do that? If we could find Sinv, that'd be really good for using the staff. Whoa. Pull these guys up. Okay, got the paralyze. Nice. We spent a good chunk of change on this chain mail, but I do believe it was the correct decision. Of course that 
reduces the chance that I'm going to be able to bribe my way into depths, unfortunately. Okay, well, we're going to grab this blowgun now because we found Curare. That's an excellent find for killing things I shouldn't be able to kill yet. Jokes on you, Swamp Drake, I'm immune to poison. We're excluding off lair because we will never be entering the lair this game. Just trying to see if there's any aux slots available. There are not. Hmm, magic regen, huh? Use the regen on the armor. Ooh. Got him. Okay, we got staves to fourteen. I guess we'll just train fighting armor and dodging and we'll get evocations a little higher. Hey, that's excellent. That's really, really good. Let's go ahead and enchant this stuff up. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'll just drink experience now, that's fine. And I'll just I'll just divide this stuff evenly, I think. There's nothing in particular that I want. Okay. Good. Beasts, helpful. Fan of Gales, potentially helpful. Probably not, but maybe. Paralysis coming through for me, that's, that's good. We got D-Missile. And a Trove. What sort of Trove? Plus three gold Dragon Scales. I'm far more likely to wear those, but maybe. Oh, this is good. We can straight up tab through ugly things now. Of course, that was an electric ugly thing. Which we have resistance to.
Got barbed. Ooh, we could take fire damage here. Why don't we pop on Ring of Fire? Clowns these guys. Generation, that's very good. Well, compared to Magic Region for this character, anyway. Already on D12, we're up to 2,000 gold. Wow, if we hadn't bought this armor, we'd be pretty close to bribe money by now. But it's, it's looking like the, the pace at which we're gaining this money, we probably will be able to bribe the deaths. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. This Gargoyle AC has really given me a hand. Um, the nice thing is that regardless of anything that the game gives to me, one thing remains true, which is that my AC is going to keep going up. As I level up, that is. Teleporter Vault, but not as dumb as the Zot Trap one, so maybe we can do it. This looks like it's Lagonu themed. I don't know what's in there. Um, that's obnoxious. I just know there's a Lagonu altar, so that tells me it's probably going to be Abyss Monsters. took me deeper inside. That's cute. Yeah, we're not going to fight those just yet. We'll come back here in a minute. The stuff in there doesn't really look worth it anyway. There's an artifact amulet. Could be worth it, I guess. But uh, we don't have the resistances really to handle very ugly things. Um, outside of a controlled setting, plus those large abominations would probably do some damage to me. Wait, that's not even an artifact. It's just showing up white when I XV it, but if I look at, look at it here, it's blue, so it's just a regular... Yeah, don't bamboozle me. from these guys on account of the energy, fire or cold. I want to ice blast these guys, but I don't have it. Use flame instead. Right, 
let's let's cloud her. Okay, good. I was concerned about being porkulated. I mean, as long as I was a gargoyle, those harpies were not a problem because of my massive AC, but during porkulation I lose all my wonderful uh, gargoyle powers. Now, of course, I knew there was a wizard in here, but I'm going to use my wands to deal with this problem. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. There may be another one, or at least a necromancer, but we have more wands. Poison was doing less to him than I would have liked. Okay, this stuff we can just kill. By the way, we'll remove access to that. And I'll put an exclusion there too, just to make sure I don't accidentally go into one of those places. is making this sort of annoying. Roxanne. Um, do we have any reason to kill Roxanne? I mean, she could have BVC. That would be nice. Do we have the ability to kill Roxanne? Yes. But I'd probably have to go into melee, so let's skip her for now. We have Bride Branch, so as long as we survive D15, I think we win. Took a little doing to get this run off the ground. Um, mainly because I was just playing reckless, you know. I guess I'm still playing Reckless with this quarterstaff, but oddly enough, it appears to be working. I mean, quarterstaves are really awesome. It's just, uh, I mean, Chaos can also be a really awesome brand when it's not screwing you over, which it hasn't yet, suspiciously. Okay, this is, this is something we're going to cloud. Dang it. want to waste all my acid. But those guys can do a good chunk of damage to me. Likewise, um, okay, I'm gonna risk it. He's got, okay, he can banish me, but that's, I wonder if you can bribe Abyss. <laughs> I doubt it. Maybe. see that I can just walk right through those. I'm too used to not playing gargoyles. Okay, this is Stark and Tam RC+. Plus. I don't need to carry our egg with me. I have that all the time. Okay. Um, okay. Well, we made it. We have 528 gold more than we need. 
We're gonna go ahead and bribe the depths. We're gonna go in. Whoa, I should have put on my my uh our fire. Let's do that now. Bribe has done absolutely nothing. But we're strong enough that we can fight this stuff. Um, he was paralyzed. Why did changing shape make him not paralyzed anymore? it. <laughs> well, this is an issue. Nice. Don't get berserked, please. Be very bad if he got berserked. Okay. All right. I am. I am singularly unimpressed with uh, with bribe here. Perhaps it's level based. We haven't seen it trigger even one time here. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with Bribe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. That's a lot of cold damage. Yeah, why, why did I bother bribing if it wasn't going to work? What a shame, right? I mean, the character seems strong enough that we're just trucking through depths anyway. Uh, thankfully, we do have our core. I was hoping for that so I could paralyze wow okay um okay not good we don't have silence we can't beat him well we could beat him we're not likely to be able to beat him He's got, geez, we're MR slash two, so he's got uh, Petrify, but I can't be Petrified, so no problem. Uh, I don't think I can be Petrified anyway. I'm a Gargoyle. He's got Crystal Spear though, so he could very easily one-shot me. And my Acid Blast plan is not really, not really doing what I would like. This dude can paralyze me. Let's see if we have cancel. Potion of magic. Ugh. All right, we need to teleport. Okay. Well, the stone giant's my my buddy. Okay. He's killing things too. Getting experience. Very nice. Finally, Bribe is kicking in.
Nice. Hopefully they killed that lich. Nope. Well, peaceful frost giant. Friendly stone giant. Can the stone giant kill the lich? Maybe. Yeah. That's how you kill an ancient lich at level 15, I guess. <laughs> just, just bribe. I didn't think that a single stone giant buddy would be so good, but... Seems to be working out for me. Okay, let's pop on Ring of Fire. Simulacrums are a big deal. Okay, Stone Giant's dead. Why don't we try to enslave this dude? Trying not to die to paralyze here. There we go. Whoa, berserked. 26% chance to paralyze. I think we just use acid. Don't bring a fire. Uh, I should kill this dude. Fire damage scarier than Hydra. The bribe's not getting used up because it's not really triggering. I'm convinced it's it's XL based. I think your experience level has to have something to do with it. Because I've seen Bribe do way better things. Just letting you walk through an entire floor. However, we're gonna level really quickly in here, so perhaps the problem will resolve itself. I've seen a few things go peaceful. <clears throat> A lot of sphinxes in here. Come on. Uh, okay. He paralyzed me while hasted. It's kind of scary. Okay, hell we can go into. Abyss we can go into. We have abyss. Probably going to cut the video here. Um, we have, we have depths bribed, so I'm tempted to just try to go down depths, you know? But I'm gonna give it some thought. I wonder if... Well, I can't test it, but I seriously doubt that I can bribe Abyss. I don't have the money to do it, though, so it's kind of a moot point. Anyway, um, next time we'll either farm up Abyss, or we'll finish out the depths and see how bribe treats me. Until then... I am signing out.